ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between and beyond welcome to stream number 136 i have to admit when i turned on this music for a moment I just fall asleep. <laughs> no, but uh, I'm surprised a little bit by, by myself that the music is just so chilling. How are you all doing, friends? How is the weekend starting or started for you? Did you have some surprising events yesterday night or today morning? In any case, friends, it is awesome to be here back together with you, hoping that you're having a fantastic time and that we are going to have a fantastic time on our stream. Again, today, there are not going to be any big announcements, but the only thing that we're going to have tomorrow, as promised in this week, a sponsored stream. And all of you, all of you listening and not listening at the moment, I'm going to need your help. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone who is having an APC, tomorrow is going to be the moment to use this power of your PC. And together with me, Installing a game and Wally Hello there. How are you doing? How are you feeling Wally? Yeah, well events who know Who knows maybe some of our people Were Somewhere partying or uh, just enjoying life, right? So those events may occur But how about yourself Wally? How do you feel? How is your weekend so far? Hmm? How is it going? Okay, now I hope that we're going to be a little bit more powerful music. Let's go. Here it comes. Yeah. Almost. Almost. Hello. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just fine. I'm going to be... I'm going to have a little chill out stream, probably. Doing more or less the things that we can do best. Enjoying all the sounds. But also getting to know the world a little bit more. Wally writes. I don't feel weakened because I have to work and tomorrow too. Today is a sleepy, lazy, cozy day. I would say as well, it is a chill out day. Just today, tomorrow there is going to be party day. <laughs> I can tell you. So friends, what do you think? Shall we start right away into our most fun habit? Trying to find out what the world can provide us. Here we go. All right, friends. I think I think it's quite cool what we're doing usually. I like that we are really getting new information, right? About beautiful places. It's about, for example, the Blue Mosque in Istanbul. Again, Chichen Itza. The two Notre Dames. I wonder, are there maybe more? in France 
I don't know. Maybe we are going to find out today. Also, the flex and uh, the special uh, special places we have been to yesterday. We have had some crazy flex challenges yesterday. Now we know that Colombia doesn't have anything on the flag but the colors and Venezuela has the stars. All right, here we go. I would really like to start right away actually with um, some flags. Flags, then probably famous places. And after that, we're going to see what else can happen. As usual, if something is going on in your life, it doesn't matter what we are streaming or doing. Don't hesitate. Tell us about it. We are here for you. Or I'm here for you. And sometimes I can help. Who knows? This is really chill out music today. All right, Wally and everyone, are you ready? Some flex of the world, here they come. Let's do it together. Wait, how many seconds? How much was it? Because we have had duels yesterday with Runa, who was just crushing it. She was just crushing it, really. Is it liked? Yeah, it is liked. I don't know what it helps to like something because... Uh... Oh, okay, three minutes. Three minutes. Here's the link. Everyone who would like to join? Here we go. All right, let's start the new round. The music is very relaxing. It's not relaxing to you, the music. What do you think, friends? Is that, a, is that an island? I think we may have been here before. Is this Zimbabwe with Harare and the capital Harare? Because I think this is maybe the bird there. Oh, here we go. But I'm not sure at the moment. I'm not sure. Maybe we are. Oh yes, here we go. Still chilling though. Yes, that was... Harare, Wally, you are here with us to together. Awesome. Awesome, okay. We have been here before. The first time we have been here, I thought, what is this? Is this something like... Uh... I can't even remember what I thought first. But now... I'm quite sure that this flag should be Latvia. And we are in the capital of Riga. Game smug, here we go. Hello, my friend. Dobry vecher. Guten Abend. Good evening. Uh, buena nuit. How are you doing, my friend? Awesome to see you. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? It is Chorne Pchichke. Wally asks, is it with the with the black bird? It is. It is with the black bird. Just uh, to show you. It is with the black bird. But it's actually a yellow blurred. Blur blur yellow blurred. <laughs> Game so I guess writing. Uh, good evening. So this is the bird. I thought always it's a chicken, but it's actually 
it's something even more strange. Stranger. Stranger of things. <laughs> yeah, here. The, do, the, the linguists are coming out of the darkness. Of the silence of the, uh, the witch chat. Ooh, is that Andorra? Or is, or is it Serbia? No, I think it should be... Wait, Molda Moldavia? Moldava or Mold Moldavia? As I remember right, Moldava and Andorra do have quite similar flags in a way. But one has a bird and the other has like something like a shield, I think. Game Strike is writing He He bird? Am I a bird? Who's a bird? The black bird. So this should be Moldava, I think. It is, friends. Look at this. We have been at this triumphal arc of the 19th century stone with a clock. Zimbabwe's flag, yep, with a bird. On, on Vogel. <laughs> um, just to point it out. Um, Andorra flag. I think this is something confusing. And Moldova flag. Look at this. They do look very similar. Blue, yellow, red. Ptica. Anna Ptica. Yes, the bird is she. She the bird. Look at this. That is very similar, I think. Very similar, right? And just to remind us, the bird is more like the Slavic thing in this way. So like uh, Russia has also the, the birds with the two heads, strangely, but still. And this is Moldava, right? And Andorra, which is between... Uh, France and Spain has this shield-like thing, right? So this is just to remind the differences between those flags, right? Which are very similar, I think. Catala? Which language is Catala? Is it Portuguese? I have learned a little bit Portuguese today again. It's, it's, it's such a creepy <laughs> language for me at the moment. I don't understand it. It's... I don't get the feeling still. I mean, it is similar to Espanol, but you are not very... You can't even talk like, ah, oh, bonjour, uh, bonjour, no, bonjour is France, right? Oh, Catalan. It was Catalan. Oh, hello there. Driven... Drev, driven Ahoy Keika. Driven. Can I call you Driven? Driven sounds cool. Or Heika. <laughs> Two head birds are more common in heraldic. It means specific gender. Driven. Driven. Hello there. Welcome to the to the chat. I wanted to say already to the club. But how are you doing? Awesome that you're here with us. So wait, what is in heraldic? It means specific gender. Does it? Heraldic. What is heraldic? I have to Google that. Heraldic. Oh, heraldic is um, the science of the uh, of the um, of all the signs and emblems and so on. Oh, oh okay. Hmm, okay, okay. Yeah, study of the herb symbolic. Indeed. That's interesting. And are you into this topic? Are you maybe someone like uh, studying heraldic, her heraldry? Or just is it just by accident that you know such specific information? Just a little bit, just a little bit. Sounds awesome. 
we have we have had yesterday a very interesting um, event in the in a way. Our friend Juicy Pants sixty nine suddenly appeared in the chat and said, "Yo, guys and ladies, of course, um, do you want to take part in a uh, quiz, which is impossible to solve?" And it was, it was a quiz, which literally was called the unsolvable flags quiz and there were many flags which i've never seen before it was interesting it was very interesting maybe it would be really helpful if if you would have been with us yesterday oh i was talking too much i was talking too much i did not even take a look on where we are runa yo yo how are you doing runa great to see you how is it today do you feel it like you want to crush me today again? <laughs> Is it a gay? A, a gay? A, again, a day of uh, crushing me? Runa is smart. Definitely. Runa is smart. No doubt in this. She really crushed yesterday our duel okay friends look at this where are we here Ooh, some Ooh, is going on there it's a kind of uh... it, I mean this looks almost like a Japanese flag but I think it has a little bit strange colors this is there really the USA flag but what is this is it it's not Chile, right? I think we are somewhere on an island, though. What means Vanuatu? Have we been in Vana Vanuatu, Wally? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Runa writes, I'm good. Has been slaying demons all day, playing Doom. Doom. Like the Doom... Uh, the last Doom, or maybe the first one, who knows. Sometimes people are playing interesting things. And I'm fine, thank you for asking as well. Yeah, the newest. And how do you like it? How do you like it so far? Man, this guy thinks as well. Where are we here? Hmm... Isn't that like the flag of Nautic something? Nautic navigation or United Nautic Nations? Or is it just a United Nations flag? <laughs> um, still, the question about where we are is not very clear to me. Any ideas, friends? Wally writes on the first round, did not understand why we have been... I, I did not either. I I was just talking to you guys and I don't even know what it showed as. Friends, anyone any ideas? I mean, we're not in Japan, are we? This is obviously not Japan. What is this? I think I'm wrong if I'm choosing this. Runa got almost full points. On this round, are you playing with us? With us? Or... Ooh... It was Liberia, friends. Oh, Runa is playing with us! Runa, you are awesome! <laughs> Games Mike, you're breaking all the languages, seriously. Uh, where are you, friend? He has written in Kyrillic, as in Kyrillic letters, asking in German. Just so you know, the flex is always in the city or so. Yeah, it's almost always in the capital, if I re remember right. Those flags are always in the capital, actually. Yep, right. 
but they are very often on islands and now I'm surprised. Why was that Liberian? Why did I didn't know that? Oh, because this, the second flag that was Liberia. That was the problem. I did not recognize the second flag. Is that the same star as on the Chile flag? Yeah, this is the same star, almost. Red, blue, almost exactly the same color. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Um, can you take a look on the first, uh, on the fifth, fourth round? Where have you been, Runa? Do you remember where the fourth round was? But I'm gonna check it as well, definitely. Famous places? Yeah, after that. Mm -hmm. After the flex. After the flex. The fourth round was, yeah, was the island. It was the island of Vanuatu. That That's where we have been. That's where we have been. The island of Vanuatu. But I would like to do another round of flags first. A little bit faster one. Ataraxi has arrived. Welcome, Ataraxi. How are you doing, my friend? Great to see you. You have McDonald's coming as well? Really? So, like, you... You, uh... Is McDonald's a person? Or is it like you... You have ordered something? And Wally, you're welcome. Bo appetit! Yes, indeed. Gamesmark is telling the right things. Gamesmark, are you hungry as well? Maybe you should order something as well. In your Norway beautiful place. Alright, let's let's do another um, flex of the world. Here's the here's the uh, link, and here we go. Sim. What means sim? Appetit sim. Oh, we are again on Helgoland. That is something that we have had before. Surprising that it is a um, own flag at all, but it is strangely. And as we found out yesterday, Helgoland, re Germany received Helgoland from the, uh, I think from the, yeah, no, United Kingdom or even the Commonwealth. At this point. In exchange for Kenya. Yep, in exchange for Kenya. So, Kenya, right? And here, Helgoland. That's that's the great change there. Uh, exchange. What is going on? What is going on? Yes, in Portuguese. Many stars. What is going on? Is going on in the second one. What is going on in the second one? Ooh. <laughs> okay. Hello, guys. Uh, we we just want to uh, take a look on the flag. We just want to see the flag, friends. Uh, so everything is cool. Everything is cool. Uh, I'm just going to take a look on the German flag. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> what what is going on? Uh, yeah, do you see the German flag? Uh I'm German citizen actually. Yeah, yeah. So don't don't shoot at me yet. Okay, but where are we? This I mean this is a little bit funny because we're obviously at an embassy. And this is a German flag, but where are we? Is this Hebrew? Or Greek? Is that Greek? Delicious German flag. Wait, did the guy in the badge have a... Yep, yep. He, he doesn't like us that we're here. Runa is 
Rudo was surprised by that as well. Yeah, well, I, he has to uh, to protect us, right? Jordan, we are in Jordan. In, in Jordan. <laughs> yes, we are in Jordan, friends. Interesting. We did not see the Jordan flag, but we are in Jordan. This has to be in the Middle East. This is so ghetto. <laughs> 24,600 points almost again. Wow. Wally, you are a uh, Wally. Aruna, you are just you are just crushing it again. I just wondered if Wally is all with us as well still. Wait, Jordan. We are in Jordan. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Jordan. Probably we are in Amman, somewhere here. So this is where we should be. Don't shoot at me, Monsieur Jordan. Okay, interesting. Wait, what did what did um, Gamespike wrote? The Volvo deal was a plan of a plan for industrial cooperation between Norway and Sweden, whereby Norway would get forty percent of the shares of the Volvo car manufacturing concern, while Volvo would get control over oil resources and Norwegian continental shelf. Norway dodged a bullet there. Gamesmike. What did you want to tell us with this? <laughs> oh, it was not at... Wait, what? It was the Jordan Bank. But it was actually here. In Ramallah. So on the West Bank. Look at this, friends. This is amazing. Norway dodged the bullet. Yeah, I mean, thirty. Uh, I mean, control over all resources of on of Norway would be not so fun. Is it the time when Norway did not know that they had quite a lot of, uh, yeah, big trades, quite a lot of. Uh, resources actually under the ground so like a lot of oil probably this is the time before that right runa asks are we playing sea of thieves tomorrow no the next week i can just next week tomorrow we're going to have a sponsored stream uh, where we all are going to download a game on pc i don't know the game i don't know how good it is i don't know how it's going to work we are going to figure it out tomorrow together. And Games Mike, thank you very much, by the way. That's very interesting information. Okay, there's there there we're getting more more information about the happening. Oh my god, it is again this very beautiful flag, which I'm always forgetting. Where is that? And why am I forgetting it? I know that there's something in the middle, like circle. Which flag? Where is this flag from? Wait, it should be somewhere. Is that Ethiopia? Is that the Ethiopian flag? Amharic? What's the game name? Um. The name of the game... <laughs> uh, we're going to find out tomorrow. <laughs> um, something with kingdoms. Kings. Kingdoms. It is also, prob I think, a mobile game, but the sponsor would like to have more PC players. But I really forgot. Yes, Japanese dolls. Here they go. I al already missed them. Finally, we got some Japanese dolls. Okay, it was Addis Abiba. Abiba. Ab Addis Ababa. Games Manga Friend. What is Amharic? What does it mean again? By the way, Games Like Road, the plan 
was rejected in January 1979 by Volvo's shareholders, who believed that Volvo was being sold too cheaply, no really, and that the Norwegian oil industry was not worth so much. Yeah, as I said, it's probably the moment when people did not know that Norway has quite a lot of oil there. Oh, Amharic is one of the official languages in Ethiopia. That was the beautiful signs that we, which, which we have seen right away. Wait, what is going on on this picture? It feels like, it feels like we're in deception in the movie. What, what is going on here? That's, that's some crazy, crazy things. Um. What was this flag again? <laughs> is that a... Wait, is it Argent? No. Is it... Oh my god, I forgot about the flag. Please don't, don't hate me yet. Oh my god, I know the flag. Oh wait, there are so many more flags. So many flags. Wait, was it Uruguay? That's a glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, in the, in the GeoGuessr Matrix at least. We are all just in a dream. Okay, friends, is that Argentine? Argentina? Or is it Uruguay? I, I'm gonna... i just gonna go for it. Okay, it was uh, Argentine. Argentina. Silver country. Is there a lot of silver? Or just... Oh, does Argentina means country of silver? Never thought about that. About that. <laughs> Never thought about that. <laughs> Sounds a little bit strange. <laughs> All right, friends. Here we go. The last round. Oh, against some people who doesn't want us to see the flag. Take a closer look, friends. Argentum is silver. Argentina. Argentina, yeah. Interesting. It is interesting how much you can hear something and never think about it, what it means, right? Um, Red flag with yellow something red flag yellow something wow argentum yeah it sounds like uh wingardium liviosa or something like that allo mora <laughs> um Friends, what was the flag? Is that Laos? Is that the bird as well? Can't remember. Is it Is it Vietnam or is it Laos? Is it that at all? Oh what? my big my big stomach fall on the on the space bar and the music stopped. The music stopped. Is that Laos? I think it is, right? Or is it Vietnam? It was Vietnam. It was Vietnam. Wait, how does the flag look like? Vietnam flag. Oh, this actually is just, just a star. I thought it's maybe chicken. And Laos obviously has a lot of chickens. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Okay, friends, how was the round for everyone? Wally, are you with us? Are you still... No, you're not playing. I'm surprised. And Runa, congratulations. One more time. Amazing results. Amazing. Yeah, I should have been better at the last... Then... Then I would be closer to you. Alright, friends, let's go. Let's go for the famous places. Famous places in this beautiful world. 
everyone who would like to join in. Here is right away the new link. It should do such bops bop sounds. <laughs> if I'm writing something. At the Rexy writes, I'm eating my burger, then I will have awesome. Bon appetit, my friend. Waiting waiting for you and your helps for our guessing. Wally writes, maybe if we are um, going to learn more about the meanings of the flags, we are going to uh, remember them more easily. I totally agree to you, and this is what I'm trying to do step by step but not right away, and not all flags uh, right away. This rem reminds you on London. Wally, I think you have quite a big delay. I think you have quite a big delay. Or, or the other way around, maybe you are in the future. <laughs> you saw already where we are. Yeah, I think this is the Tower Bridge. It is, isn't it? Or some some of the bridges at least should be the tower bridge in London. Though it looks a little bit like Half Life here. What is going on? What is going on with the with the tower here? That the Lego bridge? That is Lego bridge, not tower bridge. Draven, you are awesome. Do you know that? It's the Lego... That's the Lego bridge? There's literally a bridge which is called Lego. <laughs> Seriously? Wally has been there two times. Wait, what? What do you mean by net daily? I don't understand exactly what you what you mean, Molly. It's not London. Wait, is it really the? Is there a bridge called Lego Bridge? Lego Bridge. The Waterloo Bridge. Millennium Bridge. Oh, is it the London Bridge? Maybe. Oh. Um, Wally writes, she has been there in, in the game Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed. <laughs> so it is the Tower Bridge, right? Or am I crazy? Now I'm totally confused. I'm not very good yet. In, in geo guessing and knowing all the places, so you can fast confuse me. It's in Australia. Here we go. Runa is now trying to confuse us totally. I think it should be the Tower Bridge. I mean, the other bridges do look a little bit different, right? No. I'm just gonna. It's just gonna be so funny. It's literally the Le the Lego Le Bridge. TB? Wait, what month's TB? Take TB. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Okay, Draven. You you almost got me there. You almost got me there. It's the Lego Bridge. I was thinking, what? Lego Bridge? Because what? Why? But I, I assume it is a bridge which is likely built in Lego as well. <laughs> I hope. All right, here we go. This looks... like something Russian. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I think... I may have been here. Nope, I haven't. Was I? I don't know. Wait, what? Spaskaya 
башня. Сед мо... Уэйт. Сед Москва, по-моему, сед... Король моды. Московский Кремль. I should be Moscow, right? Correct? Yes, it's a famous set. But I think, I think it should be Moscow. I'm not sure if I've been there. Um, Wally asks, is it St. Petersburg? No. I was thinking about that as well at the beginning. That it's maybe St. Petersburg, but um, should be should be Moscow. Especially if I take a look there. This looks more like Moscow. Don't like Moscow very much. I have to say. It's interesting. It's a very interesting city, but St. Petersburg does have a more interesting feeling, actually. But I don't know what exactly this place is. If there's Kreml, then it should be a good hint. Yeah, well, I mean, in St. Petersburg there there is also this this red uh, red stoneish fortress. So, but I have no idea where in Moscow it should be. Somewhere here. Oh, it is. It's actually right. Wait, what? It is actually in the Kremlin. Uh, this, I, I haven't been there. I was just on the Red Square, but not there, I think. Which is funny. I think it was closed when I was there. It is the Bolshoi Krim, Kremlovsky, Bolshoi Krim, Kremlsky Square. So like the big Kreml, Kreml um, square. But Dreven was, or again, right, as with the Lego Lego bridge. <laughs> Are we again on flags? Wait, so this is the first time I'm here. Interesting. I did not see this place before. And at the moment, Wait, green, green, white, red. Green, white, red is Hungary, correct? Or is it Bulgaria? Bulgaria. But what is this? Lego means play well. In which language? In which language? Wally says it's it again reminds her on um, Danish. Play well. Lego. Play well. Lego. 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 Play well. It's again, but I don't think it's London. Um, is it? Or this is an embassy of. This is an embassy. Maybe. I'm confused. Who's this guy? It looks very nice. Like Sherlock Holmes would like uh, walk around here and say hello. How are you doing, friends? Do you think this is London, Wally? Really? Hmm. But I don't think this is really London. I mean, it could be somewhere in, in Ireland or Brit Britain or something. Or I don't know where we are. Does anyone know where we are? I think... Uh, Runa knows where we are, as always in Australia. Dreven definitely knows where we are, I think. But I don't. I don't know, I've never been in Dublin before. Maybe 
What if this is somewhere in Dublin? And Wally is quite right. No, that was Copenhagen. Oh, that was a hint with Lego. Game's like, was that a hit? <laughs> it was Copenhagen. And exactly at the place, Amalienborg, the Queen's winter residence with tours. Draven is just, Draven is just uh, laughing. <laughs> Copenhagen. Okay, interesting. One point. One point is more than no points. This is my philosophy. Art of the neighborhood. Wait, traffic lights with four lights. Waker. Now someone else has problems to distinguish Canada from USA, for example. I mean, you do have the Bank of America, but... I don't know where we are. It's also the very first one. First round in this place. Hmm. Wow, they have like a warp tunnel right underground. This is interesting. How does this work? <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh You can you get you can get a feeling like you are some old person can warp. Oh, now it doesn't work anymore. Okay. Okay, now we're back there. <laughs> what is this? It's just really literally one picture. One picture just on the ground. Maybe this is the famous place. Maybe this is the famous place. Okay, it should be in the USA somewhere. I think. Somewhere in the USA. Is that New York? Hmm. Maybe. Is that Chicago? Something? Maybe. But they do have here some bridges. Is that something that we can use to understand where we are? It does remind me somehow on, of, on Chicago, but... Um, like emergency room, emergency room, the the series twenty years ago about doctors. I think it was in Chicago. I'm not sure. At least one series, at least. And now you're thinking, wow, you remember emergency room from twenty years ago, but don't know where you are. Yo. Yo. Man, I don't know if that is Chicago. What if that is Detroit or something? But it was Chicago. Ooh, okay. It was indeed Chicago. Interesting. And the place was the Bank of America? Or what is it that is important about and famous about this place? I don't understand at the moment. It's just the South Baker Park is the famous thing. <laughs> Draven, <laughs> Draven writes Canada versus USA S equals checking for yourself. Like, I totally agree. I would do that the same. I mean, I'm usually saying, hmm, if we are in the USA, why are there so n no flags? <laughs> true, true. But does someone know what was so important about this place? 
Is it like really the Weka, South Weka Park or is it the, the release tower? I mean, there wasn't nothing really very remarkable to me. Is that this tower's remarkable or something? This one? Hmm, okay. Let's go. Let's go. To the next round. Probably tower. Hmm, okay. Oh, here we go again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's... Let's hack the side. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just hacking a little bit to find out where we are. We have to hack the Pentagon, the White House. Okay, we know where the Illuminati are, don't we? We know where the Illuminati are. So Lincoln Memorial is where our great friend of the United States, Mr. Abraham Lincoln, is sitting. And I think the Washington Monument should be somewhere here. Seems old. What seems old? What seems old, my friend? Okay, here we go. So that was not so bad, but of course Runa was better, right? Oh, we don't see what Runa has chosen. Strange. Draven, I'm still thinking about your your language, uh, your name. It's actually, it feels like it is something Asian. Draven, okay, yaka. Arigato. I just wonder what it what it means. All right, friends. One more famous places, a little bit faster, and after that, we're going to do some streaks, some country streaks together. Just we all together. I wanted to say just you and me, but actually, I mean we. Oh, oh. The Chinese Wall. <laughs> mm. Why I was uh, jiggling a little bit around is uh, isn't the Chinese wall about 4,000 kilom kilometers long or was at least and wait how where are the most important important um Draven writes Chicago sky skyscraper it's in Sl slovak czech means hockey stick wait what what does mean hockey stick skyscraper chicago skyscraper or uh, your name means hockey stick in czech or does skyscraper means hockey stick? No, I'm totally confused. <laughs> um. All right, the Chinese wall. The Chinese wall. If I may remember right, the Chinese wall was built or was trying to 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 guard China from the Mongols, which were coming from the north, right? So. I assume it should be somewhere in the north. Oh, here's the the Gobi. The Gobi Gazard. Mm. But I'm not sure which parts of the Chinese wall are still quite good as we can see here oh the nickname the nickname means hockey stick interesting wooden hockey stick so driven means wood maybe driven driven a hockey 
Hokkeyaka. Driven there, Hokkeyaka. Hokkeyaka. Awesome. That's interesting. So, check, check nickname. Hmm. How, how to say hello in, in, in Czech? I'm actually trying to to know a, a little bit of words, at least, and in, in some languages. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this is exactly close to Beijing. Would have never thought about that. The Great Wall of China. Okay, I want to know more about the Great Wall of China, actually. Wall of China. When was it built? Is it... Uh, how long is it still? I mean, of uh, some parts which are... Great Wall of China. It was built in the Ming Dynasty. Okay, here. That, that's all where it was built. It was built actually in many dynasties, not just the one. It was started building in the Ming Dynasty. Oh, well, this looks this looks confusing. Literally, it means the ten thousand li long wall. <laughs> so the best known sections of the wall were built by the Ming Dynasty. Oh, that's what they were talking about. Where the Ming Dynasty was. It was the last dynasty. This is which is most commonly known in the 15th, 16th century. So about the time when I think the Taj Mahal was built, right? 15, 16. And also the Petersdom. Yeah. So, about the time of Peterstone and Taj Mahal, the Great, the Great Wall was built. Interesting. And Revenant writes, yeah, it was built per periodically, never built home. Project was never finished. Yeah. But I think it did, it did do some work, and especially many people died because of the wall itself, right? But I think it did help in a way to protect some some parts, right? It's just very unbelievable actually what people were able to build. Interesting. Very interesting. The 10,000 Lee wall, a long wall. Yeah, look, this is how it looked when I was there. And I wasn't able to go anywhere actually more than than this than the red the red um square. This is the place where Lenin lies and still tells the story, the story. If I remember right, Lenin never wanted to be a uh, like a mummy, <laughs> right? But uh, yeah, this is what history sometimes makes out of us. The opposite of what we sometimes wanted to be. Philosophical, sometimes, not always. All right, so we are in Moscow, Red Square. With red square, red square, we should be right here. No, here. Right? Something like here. Alright, here we go, friends. Here we go. Hey, and Wally was with us as well. Hello, Wally. And then there is Stalin, Man of Steel. Yeah. 
not long not long ago I saw documentation about him about Stalin it's so strange what what was going on in the past along sometimes the history repeats itself I mean it is so difficult to say was it good what Stalin was doing or was it bad so many so many parts to consider so many things to think about it's not always easy to say is it black or white sometimes it's just on some things are good some things are very bad Draven writes the majority of builders were soldiers so it was mainly built by guys which were paid are you are you talking at the moment about uh, the uh, like the red square or are you talking about still still about um the Chinese wall because the Chinese wall was was that built by people who were paid who were paid but they died a lot of people. I think they're still finding um, some remnants of, of the people. Yeah, China, Chinese wall. Mm -hmm. But they're still finding remnants of people who died there, if I remember. As I said, again, right? It's difficult to say what is good or bad. It always depends on the goal of, of something, right? And somehow, the ultimate goal in our life is always something subjective right all right but now we are getting too philosophical maybe one day another day when we are going to go deeper deeper down to the gondola all right venice Winnie's, but where in Winnie's? We have been before on the Great Canal of of Venice, somewhere here. But where are we now? Let's let's say we are. We are. Uh, I don't know. We are there. Let's say right there. Oh, Wally, you were you are still with us. Yeah, Venice is there. This is the place where everything everything is in water. Every everything is in water. Wait, what? This was on the main channel, but but looked so small there. Like you don't have much place, right? Look at this. This looks very like not very much space here actually. But on the map it looks like it's it's huge. I think you guess are it's maybe wrong here a little bit. Oh no, the uh, Google Maps is a little bit wrong here about the size of of the water which is here. Because if you compare that to this place, okay, but here it is also bigger. So, so maybe it's right. Wally writes there was something. Uh, similar and she could not stop <laughs> all right here we go friends fourth of five rounds and again I'm pushing the wrong button hacking hacking again hmm again a new place I think Bano della Mescuita. Bano della Mescuita. Italia. Italiano. No. Espanol. Laguna Taladera Taracea. Hmm. Softer. Bano. Bano. Alright, softer. 
Bano, Bano de la Mezquita. Let end. Bano. Ba bagno? Bagno. Or is it? <laughs> it's difficult. It's difficult to learn the pronunciation by by um, reading a text, I think. Bano. So you can speak Italian as well, is that so? Exactly. Wait, so if it is more like a bagno, bagno. So is it, is it a place of washing? It's like, like a swimming sauna thing? Alcazaba, Alcazaba. Okay, but this is not Italian. Is it? Anti guidetates libreria. Hmm. It is Spanish. Okay, this is Spanish. But we are not in Spain, are we? Because the plates don't have European or do they? Wait, do they have European? Hmm. I think the country which is very big and I know nothing almost about is Spain actually. It's like a, a place of so many beautiful things like the aqueduct which we already have get to know them um okay it was in Spain it was Granada it was Granada it is Spain yeah Wally it is Spain it was Granada and the place was Oficina de Atención and this is the visiting place Palacio de Carlos Pala Palacio de Carlo, Pal something like that. Renaissance P uh, Palace at Alhambra Complex. Palacio de Carlos. Palacio de Palacio de Wow, this looks almost like uh, like the Colosseum. You need to check out all the major Roman languages. Yeah, Games Mike, you're right. I'm trying. I'm trying, right? I'm trying to learn and understand Portuguese already, Espanol, and a little bit of French, but uh, still very bad. I'm still very bad. It's okay. You can guess without languages on 5K. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the next time when we are going to see that, um, Games Mike is just very very into languages so Draven maybe you have there something in common um but so that's why he is trying to to get us to learn some languages so the palace of Charles V is the renaissance building in Granada southern Spain inside the Alhambra a former Nazarite palace oh it was a own dun dynasty and it has a very interesting language, by the way. Oh, that is the time when Spain was under the Muslim dynasty. Wow. So much going on. It was built in 1527. Friends, this is something new. We did not have many buildings of 1527 so far. We have here not a drum of the 1200s. Um, let's put away the flags, heraldry, the, what flag was that? Mm. It was the flag of Liberia, yeah, of course. Chile, Vietnam, the wall. I mean, it's like the time of, of the Chinese, uh, most famous parts, right, of the Chinese uh, wall. 
me encantan los something ig are you are you calling me calling me names game swag <laughs> wally wally doesn't understand on which language we are speaking already yeah wally you are writing in russian the others are writing in english games mike is writing whatever he wants in every mixtures all right here we go for the last one of the famous places for today wow this is an interesting place here wait have we been here before i think this is is it something in spain again itinerario accessible itinerario accessible Games has, has written, I love languages. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. <laughs> this is what, uh, by the way, uh, Games has not written and to understand what means idiot is idiota. And which language is that? Is it Espanol? And I love languages means me encantano lo idiomas. Oh, this is exactly what you have written in in um, on Wikipedia. Español, sí, sí. Uh, wait, now I have to remember how to say muchos, muchos gracias. Wait, is this... Is that Espanol? Muchas gracias. Wait, are we again at the same place, actually? I'm, I'm just... Wait, 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 wait a second. What was that? Mmm, it is a place where theaters are shown. Armas y enceres para la defensa natari. On idiot, <laughs> he is going. I assume we are again in Spain somewhere, correct? And somehow, the most interesting places are more in the south, so I'm going for here. It was again Granada. It was really again the same place, really. Just from the other side. Are you kidding? Okay, we have been here on this side of the Alhambra complex and now we have been here. That's funny. That's funny. Alright, friends. That was awesome. Very interesting, I think. We have learned quite a lot about famous places. And now... Now... Let us go. Let us go to the places we have never been before. All the world's brothers, kinda. <laughs> Wait a second. Um, actually, I think we just go there like that. So, friends, what do you think? Shall we do, um, like country streaks, or what we have done the uh, the last time, learning and trying to figure out differences between the north. Um, the South American, the South American countries, which are for me still very difficult. So something like in um, maybe let's do one South American thing, South American countries to distinguish them, and after that, then the streaks. Is that okay? Is that okay to you, friends? Here we go. Good famous places with wiki notes, educative. Yeah, I think so as well. That's that's why I like it so much as well. So like learning about the places where you are. So that's why I like it. Oh, hello, hello there, man. What's up? What's up? 
but I think we are definitely speaking here another language. Como estas? Como estas? Como estas? Right? This is how to say what's up in Espanol. Mm, okay. Uh, what tells us this sun? The sun tells us that we're quite far in the south. Actually, very far in the south. So it shouldn't be something like uh, Colombia or Venezuela or Ecuador. But could be more something like Argentine, Argentina. Maybe Brazil or Chile. Como estas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Como estas? Como estas? That was right, correct? Si, si, si. Como estas? Como estas, Games Mike? Mucho bien, mucho bien. Mucho bien? Bien? Es bien. Wait, is that French? Muy bien. Wait. <laughs> All right, focus, focus. Where are we? So far, I think more like Argentina. Not sure. Okay, let's try to find... Um, maybe something where we can read at least something. But would it help us at all if we would know with this... Spain, a uh, Spanish or Portuguese. Oh wait, here again the like the trash is again a little bit uphold. This is interesting. Muy bien, muy bien. Mucho, mucho gracias, Games Mike. Ah, uh, yeah, muy bien, muy bien. A goal. <laughs> oh. Or does it mean zero? I think this is zero. This is something we recognized the last time as well. Was that in Argentine? The funny... The funny fact about the trash that is always hanging around somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Buenos Aires. It was Buenos Aires, friends. Oopsa poops. <laughs> Oopsa poops, sorry. Okay, so Argentine has white plates, correct? White car plates. What can we learn about? I mean, about the utilizations poles is something for me still totally unremarkable in a way. I mean, it's something on a wooden, wooden, like almost like driven, driven. Ahoy keyeka. It's almost something like that, right? What else can we get a feeling for Argentine, Argentina? Really, the thing with the trash is remarkable. Never seen that before. That um, trash is always something unlike for birds or something. A little bit uphold. All right, here we go. This is what I feel so far about Argent Argentina Buenos Aires friends, Buenos Aires, that was okay, here we go here we go ahorros u creditos ahorros y creditos u e creditos para todos I think this is Espanol Games Mike, can you answer me something? Is in Portuguese the thing with the two question marks, so like one at the beginning and at the end, the same thing like in Espanol? Or is it something just in Espanol? No? Just in Espanol? Nay? No? No? <laughs> Nay? No? No? Sim. A sim. 
which is the Portuguese? <laughs> Man, I, I, you're confusing me with all the languages, I swear. Similar. Wait, Revan, you say it's similar. Games might say it's not. Or did they misunderstand something? Okay, again, I think something interesting. We have yellowish, the yellow, yellowish middle line. Um, Portuguese, sim, Spanish, oh, Portuguese, sim, means yes. All right, that is very good. Spanish is C, Italian is C, French is we, Romanian is da, Russian is also da. We, oui, we oui, miss you. Merci. Bodoguita. I think the yellowish thing and the yellowish line, they were in Brazil. So that would mean that it is Portuguese. Tag. Tag is, I think, Polish. Tag. Tag should be Polish. Oh, we can't see the domain. What? Why? Show us the domain. Why don't you show us the domain? <laughs> okay. What else can we learn? Madrid. Madrid. We are not in Spain. What are you telling us? What do you mean? Polish. Oh, Tak is Polish and Ukrainian as well. Right. Tag, tag, tag. Tag. Oh, I did not choose anything. Oh, the yellowish things. The yellowish line is in Peru as well. That's that's why I say why it's so difficult to me to to distinguish those countries. So all, always, if we are somewhere in South America, I have no idea what it could be. Okay, yellowish plates. That was a thing. That was a meta. Nona Mir would say now. You don't remember. How could you? Alcalde means major. Major? Alcalde? Okay, where are the yellowish plates again? Which country? Which country are yellowish plates? In Colombia. Colombia. Oh, mayor. Mayor, not major. Right? Mm -hmm. Games rocks. Games Mike writes, I don't get why so many South American towns have the mayor name of mayor text tagged on their walls. Oh, look at this. Draven writes, um, yellow plates are Venezuela, uh, Ven Venezuela, Colombia, if I'm not mistaken. But it, it appears like, uh, yeah, Colombia and Venezuela. So actually, like in the flags, do you, do you know if Ecuador has yellowish plates as well? Would be good to know, right? So, but we are in Colombia, and here are definitely yellowish plates. The roads have white, white stripes, as it appears at least here, where uh, where we are at the moment. Panaderia, Salomo, Salome, Pan ou Café. And by the way, Gamesmark, I have no idea as well. Especially, is it like the mayor which they have at the moment? Is it something like they do? So to remember, maybe the mayors are something like gang leaders in a way. <laughs> and they're trying to make some statements. Oh, look at this. We should help them. Come on, friends. We can do this. 
help them. Then we can can we go on? Okay, Colombia. White white lines, yellow plates. The buses though don't have yellow plates and the trucks neither as it appears. And it was Bogota, the capital of Colombia. Oh, Draven, you you look it up, man. Thank you very much. I think I, I don't know if there are something like um something something similar to this, like here, uh, the main languages of the world, the official languages, and also like. Uh, the uh, which side of the road map I would also like to have something like a map with the plates colors maybe maybe there's something like that map of the world plates colors plates colors no I'm not talking about the tectonical plates actually uh how are they called they're not just called plates right Operates car plates. Do it yourself. Yeah, I was I was thinking about that. If there's oh look at this, maybe this. I mean, if there is already something like that, then we don't have it to do it right. Car plates. Oh look at this. This is a gear guesser. Yeah, the gear guesser community. They have something like that already. Look at this, friends. Oh, magnifique. Oh, c'est magnifique. Oh. Huh? I think this is two gigabyte big or something. Look at this, friends. Isn't that awesome? Me every day, c'est magnifique. Oh no. Wally writes. Oh, wait. Wally, I wish you a good stream and good time everyone i will be work and watching you yes watching me like the illuminati <laughs> thank you wally and what he writes maybe i don't will sleep no today to make more work because last day i was too procrastinating Pre procrastinating yeah i did not sleep today as well till six in the morning and trying to work that's what the games my good writes as well. Me every day. Look at this, friends. Isn't that an awesome map? This is unbelievably helpful, actually. Look at this. Ah, magnifique. I'm 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 happy just right now. Look at this. The Geogaster community is just. Uh... Isn't that awesome? Okay, look at this. Um. Colombia, yellowish plates, as we know. Ecuador, just white. Very, very simple in a way. But the Venezuelan one, they're just beautiful. What is this? It's my, literally the flag. But that was going to be a little bit difficult to see that on a bluish, bluish uh, GeoGuessr map. Um. Wally asks, are they not like bl blur the the plates? Yes, they are, but usually you can still see a little bit, like at least the color, right? This is what we saw. We saw that it is yellowish, so a yellow plate. And this is how we can now find out. By the way, if someone wants to have have this have this uh, side as well. Here it is, friends. Here it is. I think this is amazingly helpful. Because I like to see it on one on one view so that so that I can see the differences and similarities. Wow, this is <laughs> this is great. This is great. Isn't that great? Who's so hyped about that as I am? I think no one. But, if... <laughs> but I'm very hyped. Wow, look at the South South Africa plates here. 
Cameroon is orange. Interesting. But let's get back to South South Africa, uh, South America at the moment. I mean, the plates are not helpful, by the way, actually, at all, in the question between Canada and um, USA, right? Oh, Draven, can you send me a direct message on Twitch? Can you send me the link and direct message? If you click on my name, click on my name, then um, awesome, would be great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you didn't send me. Someone else sent me a direct message. If I want to buy some followers or prime subs. <laughs> it's not you, right? Dr. Dr. Zovo. <laughs> oh, they, there we go. There we go. Some random stuff about Gilgesser. Let's take a look. Okay, so, but if we're going back to our topic for, for the moment. Oh, so this is literally like a uh, tutorial to Gilgesser. If someone wants to have it, I think this is interesting. Introduction to Gilgesser. This is, looks awesome. Oh, wait, you're writing? It took a while. Did you do that? Is it something you have done, written? Devon? Or do you mean that it took a lot took a while to uh copy? Uh nope, no. Took a while it's loading quite long, right? Alright, here we go. So Wow, look the is that the plate of Suriname is really yellowish, like like PP language. Uh uh color in a way um, and actually really the only yellowish plate in the south south americans is colombia that is surprising it is colombia yeah wally i'm sorry <laughs> just found it yes yeah, slow connection yeah, I'm not sure if the connection is very slow, but or it is just a big link or something. I mean, like a far away as well. Maybe it's in Antarctica, the servers. So, something else that is very interesting. We probably will never be able to distinguish Ecuador with Peru by plates. Bolivia is gonna be very difficult as well just if we may see some bluish things interesting and of, of course french guinea but I'm, i think there's no uh gilgazer in french guinea right oh guy who wrote this the, the link i've sent before um is actually from australia so actually almost Antarctica to me from Germany okay okay let's let's see how much is going to help this in the next rounds all right some it is not Colombia this is already good that we can say that because we have something like a white plate And no plate in, in front at all. No, they do. But as I said, everything else is actually not easy to distinguish by plate. Because it could be now Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia actually. Maybe not Paraguay because... Do you get the feeling like there is maybe really something blue in the plate? On the, on the car plate there. Vende esta casa. Salo, salao, 
Salau, Saron. Wait, is that Portuguese? Yeah, the thing with the plates actually just helps us with Colombia, I think. Just helps us with Colombia. Oh wait, no. This is put this is Portuguese, right? This is what uh GameSwag was teaching us today. Sim and now. So this is Portuguese, so it should be Brazil. Then correct. Oh we have some Israel embassy maybe or uh yeah, maybe not really embassy, but people, uh, some advertisement, maybe. I mean, it is something from the Old Testament. Hosea 14.1. Ministerio Volta Israel. Okay. All right, so let's choose something in Brazil. Something in Brazil. Hmm. All right, at least we were in the right country. And it was Sao Paulo. Okay. Okay. Draven writes, some people in Colombia, Venezuela speak Portug, but Portug is main language in Brazil. So some people in Colombia, Colombia in Venezuela, so here are speaking Portug, Portug, but Portug is the main language in Brazil. So it could be that we have some writings in Colombia and Venezuela which are in Portug. Right, and we would, we may would get an impression f that it is in Brazil, but it could be still in Colombian or or Venezuela, right? Okay, this is very interesting. Draven, thank you very much. This is very, very, very interesting, very helpful. Oh, this is, what is here going on? We are going from from white to yellow. Or is it maybe something like a optical optical delusion? So yellowish yellowish lines. Middle line. Yellowish middle line. How about the sun? Close to the equator, I believe. A little bit more a little bit in the south though driven the rights yeah on south mainly but focusing on languages is good while you can easily identify and pick brazil as number one yep indeed i mean brazil wait what we are in colombia Yellowish plate. What? No, I'm surprised. I thought, actually, I I was thinking about Brazil. But obviously, it appears like we are either in in uh, Colombia or this is maybe the yellowish Suriname, Suriname. But uh, that is very improbable because I think we have never been. On Suriname on GeoGuessr. Right? Okay. 
so I believe uh, we have Jeff just one choice here should be somewhere in Colombia and it was and very much in the north as I said it was very very close to the equator actually it is almost exactly on the equator interesting interesting don't you think I'm saying so much interesting but because it is it's very interesting all that stuff that we're doing here all right friends I would suggest we're now trying to do a country streak and it would be so great if everyone who would likes to help just help because we are really going to need it all right here we go friends let's try some country streaks our best best streak so far 22 22 so far but with a lot of help with a lot of help of of great people and here we go here we go oh wait 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 i did not do the challenge thing but still if someone would like to join and uh, do that as well here we go here we go friends yeah not bad i think so too because our people are just awesome actually which helped us so far so here we go let's try it i still don't know much about the cars but i can remember the red the red mirrors and these things now it would be awesome if i would remember as well which country it is but i think this should be bangladesh <laughs> i'm trying to read very hardly uh the the bangladeshian language but there it says rdr says bangladesh okay so maybe maybe this is bangladesh but just just a little feeling just a little feeling but this this appears by the way arabic no it is like okay no this is indian definitely and this is all the indian it's all indian this is something like ka fa i don't remember ka fa something But if it would be Arabic, would it be surprising? Are they easy one? Yeah, luckily, luckily. Luckily. So Bangladesh has the red mirror car, Google car. Interesting to know as well, right? Could be an E, an E, could be an E. Could be an E. What do you mean by NE? Near borders. Oh, could be near borders. Yeah, right. Could be, right? I mean, at the moment, I hope it is Bangladesh and not India and just some advertisement from, from, from Bangladesh. Could be possible as well, right? All right, I think it is it is Bangladesh. Now. All right, first one down. Haha, <laughs> here we go, friends. We are doing it. We are doing it. Nabarku Lafia. Okay, we're somewhere in Africa. We're somewhere in Africa. Hmm. But where? Okay, let's move a little bit. Okay. This is not where I wanted to go, but still. Oh, we are in Abuya. And Abuya is in Nigeria, correct? No, in... Wait, it's... wait. 
Yeah, it is Nigeria. Ooh. Okay. Police car is a good hint. There was a good hint with the police car. Because I liked I liked as well that here it, it says Abuya. Literally. This is the first time we are in Abuya, I think. Oh, police car. How would you understand if that is what it's trying to tell us? And this is how the Google car looks like here, by the way. With this warning warning metal things. Police RRS. Well, the car looks very new, by the way. Yes, Nigeria has police car escort many times. Oh, do you think it is... Um, it is the police escort for... No, there it is. There is the police escort. Yeah. Indeed, it is the country where always is the police escort, correct? Yeah. Almost always, I think, at least. Indeed. Okay. Abuya. Hello, friends. Here we go. Too correct. Что такое police escort? What is a police escort? Um, сопровождение um, полицейской машины. So like, I'm it's simply like a car which is behind the Google car and tries to, uh, yeah, like protect protect the Google car. Correct. Okay, what is this? What is this flag? What is this flag? Wait, what is this flag? Is that Malaysia? What? Why is that so such a big, such a big part blue? Is it like a smaller version? A smaller version. So this is probably Malaysia. We have quite a big luck this time. I mean, already three places which have big hints, right? Very big hints. Not just in the middle of nowhere, but really flags, names. That is not usual. Public toilet. Hmm. Wally writes, oh, thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome, Uncle Wally. I am counting chess. I am crispy chess. What means I am? I am. I am. I'm trying to get the feeling for Malaysia. Interesting place. Where we are here. Ao means maybe something like yum yum. Delicious. Yummy. Yummy yummy. Uh, delicious crispy chips. Yeah, maybe. Maybe well, <laughs> could be right. Oh, ayam means chicken. Man, Revan knows everything. You are you really something like a language speci specialist as well? This is just amazing. Ayam, so like chicken, crispy chicken, maybe. All right, here we go, friends. Oh, that was it. That is our dead end, I can tell you. That is our dead end. No, just Google it. All right, here we go. Well, thank you. Otherwise, I would think already that I'm... I just don't know anything. Okay, friends. 
What is going on with the sun here? I think we are quite close to the equator. What are the ut utilization poles telling us? Hmm. They are telling me... Hmm. Yellow plates. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wally has a deja vu. Have you been here before? Rancho Zonota. Rancho Zonota. When I said what is going on with the with the with the sky here, yeah, then you had a deja vu. No estoy yo aquí que soy tu madre. Something with mother. Isn't that this is Espanol, right? Que soy tu madre. Espanol. What? Something with mother? Something with mother? And something close to the equator. That is all we got. Someone has any ideas? This might be hint. Colors. Colors, colors, colors. By the way, you are right. I did not think about that. Was that Mexico? No, that is not Mexico, right? Is that Mexico? Could this be Mexico? Should be... Oh no, we just have 30 seconds. Is it Mexico? Wow, but this looks very... Like a lot of... A lot of trees here and a lot of... Yeah, but this could be Mexico, right? But let's see another things. Yeah, I think I think that was it. We just have four more seconds. It was Mexico, friends. Wow. Driven. If you would not say that. If you would not say that. I we are, we would still be in the middle of nowhere. You're awesome, Driven. This is very good. Whew. Okay. Four. Four countries. Yeah, we all did a good job there. That was awesome. Okay. Europe, probably. Garden waste. English. Ireland, maybe. UK. But those are European plates, aren't they? I mean, BMWs, they can be everywhere. Hmm. So, guys, who 5k that? Yeah. Don't tell me about the other people. I know they are just unbelievably things happening on other streams. And um, other guild guessers are just amazingly good in this. I'm not. At least not yet. So, we have cars which have... On the front, white plates. On the back side, red plates. This should be UK, correct? Um, by the way, luckily we don't have to find out the exact place because we're just doing, uh, just doing uh, countries. Like we have to figure out which country it is, right? Then it is easy. Yeah, probably it wasn't another another thing, right? Right, yellow, black, yellow, black, white front. Yeah, and we have had a domain which said literally. Wait, but why were they blue? Now I'm confused. Isn't that Ireland then still? Am I wrong? 
now I'm wait now I n now I don't now I don't feel so sure anymore now I'm not sure at all is that Ireland or is it or is it maybe something like Norway uh Norway Ireland doesn't have... But wait, then it is Belgium? Is it Belgium? But why do we have UK? No. Now I'm told... But UK doesn't have blue things. Does it? Oh, wait a second. Oh, it was UK. But, you know, I'm very confused because the plates were bluish on the front. Why? Oh, wait, what? Is it something like no Northern Ireland or something? No. Is it? What was it? It was actually London. It was London. Seriously? Okay. That was not my, my best round. They have <laughs> AU plates? They do? Still? Oh, but... Hmm. Yeah. I forgot. They were the EU. <laughs> oh. I forgot about that. Somehow I thought already... Yeah, they're not the EU, right? Dangerous. That was dangerous. Man, Draven, thank you so much. Thank you so much, my friend. Okay, here we go. Oh. Wow, what is what is going on here? This looks like art. Like space art. <sighs> okay, let's... Uh... Let's try to go a little bit closer to the to the city. We are on the northern hemisphere, by the way. I wouldn't say very far though. Not very far on the northern hemisphere. Oh, I think I think this, this bolts are a hint because they have, uh, they are like divided into two parts. Do do do, do two parts. All right, we are in Europe. We are probably in Europe, though this very bluish, very. Light bluish, might I mean? Marchas populateres. Marchas popula. There was crown. There was a crown. Was there? There was a crown. Where was a crown? Crown. You mean on the plate? Or where did you see Chrome? No? Hmm. Draven, do you recognize the... the assam assemblia? The language? Asferas. Does someone recognize recognize the language? Oh, you're totally fine, my friend. Draven, all fine. Spain, probably. But looks very... 
as if there is a lot of green here, which is surprisingly. It was Portugal. Portugal. It was Portugal, friends. And exactly it was um, here in Corteroda. Terrerodar. <laughs> put it in northern Spain. As as I said, we have just to to put actually if it, the country. We don't even have to say very exactly it is. Just a country. It's just country streaks. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do another one, Prince. One more, and I think it's going to be the the last one for today. That was close. It was close. Here we go, Prince. Portugal it was. Sorry for that. Okay, Portugal. And now we are... I don't recognize it. So far. What about the plates? White, maybe. About the sun. We are quite far in the south. Uh, in the north. Wait, what? We are quite far in the north. And the south. Sorry. Wait. <laughs> in the north. We are quite far in the north. In the north. Which is surprising because it looks like we are not far away from the equator, right? I saw hexagonal polar, maybe Mexico. You saw somewhere where, my friend. And here's a bird. I think they like birds in Mexico. Are we Mexico, friend? Friend. Movimiento. Movimiento Ciudadano. Mexico, I think, is a good thing. Good try. Good guess, I think. I think it is. And I think we're getting closer and closer to the point of no return. On start, but focus on other things. Yes, you're right. I should have. Okay, here we go. Oh, there, there is something. Mirkulis Zabavado. Uh, so this is the retina. Publilo. Is Publilo maybe the place? We don't have much time. Oral. Okay. I would like to, ch to ch choose actually Mexico. I think. The Rio Virgen. Oh, it is Mexico. That is a very big hint there. <laughs> it is Mexico, friends. Man, Dan. Yeah, Dren, Dan. Draven. Awesome. You're doing very great, my friend. You're doing just very great. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you, you have made a very good job there. Don't like this song. Okay, we have a red Google car. Um, looks like Soviet style buildings. Hmm. 
What is this? What is here going on? What is here going on? Oh, well, this is probably India, I think. There's the sign of the sun and also the language. So it could be India, Sri Lanka, something in this direction. Correct? India? Could it be Sri Lanka at all, actually? What do you think, friends, so far? Is there some is there some advertisement at the moment for some? I think there is, right? But this the strange thing is I don't recognize the flags there. Is it maybe something local? Local flags? Do not know Mida, but such a building I saw in Malaysia. But could be, as you said. I mean this is definitely not Malaysian language there, is it? I mean Malaysian language is um it's not it's not the spaghetti spaghetti writing thing. Is it? Hmm, okay, let's take a look if we may find more. This is a very surreal place. I mean look at this vast Vast places here. What is going on here? Look at this. It's just, it just feels very strange. My friend, what if you are right? What if it is Malaysia and there was just a strange building? But does Malaysia have such big places without anything actually going on? It was India. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. And it was here. It was... It was actually just on the north of New Delhi. Or actually it is Delhi. Wow. Yeah. That was that was something. S some Somehow surprising building style they have, I can say. Simply vast, vast places without anything. Okay, something European. I can't go there, no. No, I can't. I want to take a look on the plates. Yellowish, something yellowish. I can't go here anywhere. Let me go somewhere. Okay, yellowish plate on the back. So this should be actually Netherlands then, right? Should be Netherlands. I think it's the only one with both sides. Yeah, that language. You saw language somewhere? Let's take a look if we can find more. I think I think this is yeah, ver verboden de par de parkerin. Verboden de parkerin. Should be Netherlands. Let's take a look. You can find out more. A little bit more. Course and trust. All right. What if it is Belgium, though? It's not right. It's, Belgium has black plates on one side and the red on the other, right? Okay, Netherlands. All right. Here we go. Restricted parking. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was language already. <laughs> I, I think I'm getting tired. Uh, it's already my focus. My focus is already gone. I said Portugal. If I'm taking a look on on this utilization polls, 
This is Portugal. Gibbs Mike. Klomp. Wooden shoe maker maker. Klomp Mike marker. What was? Was it somewhere here? You said you saw there's some clomp marker? Wooden shoe maker? Or was it in the Netherlands before? Probably there, yeah, right? Okay, what about the sun? We are in the north. Okay, interesting. Yeah, GameSmack says yeah. Ye Is there maybe quite a long delay between uh, between us? Oh wait, we're again in the Netherlands? Is that what you're trying to tell me? No, we are in Portugal. This right? No, wait. Lisboa. It doesn't. It's not Lis Lisbon. Nah, I'm just being lazy and slow. All right, okay. <laughs> nah. Mudanchas. That hint on the wall. Yes, there is a small delay. There's a small delay. The hint on the wall. Coruas. So wait, we have white plates. No, there was just a car from Netherlands, probably. But usually we have white, white European plates. I'm still on Portugal because of the poles, actually, at the, at the beginning. This, yeah, wait, but didn't wasn't it written different? It was diff, or is it? Written in Portuguese, huh? <laughs> it is written in Portuguese, huh? Or was it written right exactly like Lisbon and did not see that? I thought it was written some somehow differently. Okay, I I don't so. Yeah, definitely Portuguese. Correct. Let's go. I'm sure it's Portuguese. And it is, and it is actually very close to Lisbon. Or is it Lisbon? It is Lisbon, right? Maybe? No. Wait, it's... It was the city Bayaro das... Bay... Bayaro das Car Caraos. <laughs> yes, also architecture is Portuguese. It was, yeah. Now I got a feeling. Games director writes Lisbon Bon. Achtung. <laughs> Attention, Lisbon Bon. Why buildings very common for for uh in in Portugal? Okay. Let's go. Next round. Theaters Platzen. Theaters Platzen. Platzen the theaters. Interesting feeling. Den nie Burger handerwindern. Is it Belgium or Denmark? We have white plates, right? On both sides. What is this? What is this? <laughs> bar, bar. Three bar. Mid, Miditsk. Danish? Denmark. Oh, here you go. The friends know where Denmark is. Uh, what Denmark is. All right. That is awesome. Here we go, friends. It's not the Danish flag there, but... The selling bank. Okay, Denmark has white plates. Okay. Here we go, friends. Five. Already five. Um. So, here we go. Oh, 
Oh, this is a bright yellow. A bright yellow, and it feels like South America, doesn't it? What do you think, friends? But can it be really Suriname? Or is it more probable Colombia? Oh no, look at this. The other car cars have simply white plates. So, um... Affili affiliada. Nacho. Toledo. Nacho. Nachos? Isn't it something that is eaten in Mexico quite much? Quite much. Um, the sun... The sun is, by the way, telling us that we are very... Quite, quite good on the Southern Hemisphere. Quite good. <laughs> We're quite good on the Southern Hemisphere. Quite far. Escalares Metallica. Wait, what? P.E. Peru. It is Peru. It appears like we're in Peru, friends. Metal letters. <laughs> that is what what it was saying. Metal letters. Which language? I assume it should be Espanol. Correct? El mundo de las sandialas. El mundo. El mundo is español. So it's not Brazil, obviously, already, I think. All right, this is definitely a sp Spanish and should be Peru. So these little funny cars are as it appears in Peru. Here we go. It was Peru and we have been at a beautiful place called Piura. Piura. Piu. 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 Piura. Piura. All right, friends, here we go. And we are on round number six. Driven. We are doing good, don't we? South, west, north. We are on the southern hemisphere. We are on the southern hemisphere again. Hmm, but this time it's going to be probably more difficult. Quite vast, vast plates. Uh, like uh, landscapes, right? Muy bien, muy bien, muy, muy to bien. Muy bien, muy to bien. Okay, where should we go to find something? Anything like a name or the yellow, the the road though is probably should give us a sign as well, a person. Oh, really? We're in Africa? We're in Africa? What do you think, friends? Where could it be? Where could this be? I mean, it doesn't feel like we are crazy, very crazily in the South, but Actually, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit difficult. Seems South America. You think it's South America? But our friend, which we have met at the moment, he was... He had quite a dark, dark skin. 
Hmm, I don't think that we're in South America. It should be something in Africa. Horses? Is that something special? Is there other horses just in... Where are horses? You, just, you saw horses? What? <laughs> what? Okay, friends, focus, focus. Oh, focus, focus. No idea. Uh, mm. What if it is Kenya? What if it is Madagascar? I don't know. It was, it was, it was a Swatini in France. Mm. Kingdom Eswatini. It was close. Even the choice was very close, right? Yeah. Eswatini it was. Alright, but six, six streaks. Yeah, they drive left. Yeah, they do. They do. They do. 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 Do 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 do. Let's take a look. They do look all the all the yellowish parts here. They're all driving on the left side. They're all driving on the left side. So everything that is yellow on this map, this is all driving on the left side. Yeah. All right, but I think that was awesome, friends. And I would say that is. A nice time and timing to end our stream for today. Friends, it was awesome. Tomorrow, everyone who is not following us yet, please don't forget to follow. It's always helping us getting better together and also to not miss our streams, maybe, right? But tomorrow is going to be a sponsored stream, so it would be great to, to have all the help that we can get tomorrow. Actually, we need just Drevana Hochka is now following. Dre Drevana Hochka. Man, Dreven, thank you very much for the follow. It was awesome to getting to know to you a little bit. So thank you very much that you are here with us. Welcome. Welcome to Together Better. And as I said, actually we just need I think about 20 people at maximum. But it would be also already awesome if they're going to be just two people who are going to install it. So, this would be already nice. So, we are going to see how everything works out tomorrow. It's going to be interesting, I think. But for now, I would like to send you some... To give you the possibility to rate some beautiful people who are, at the moment, geo-guessing as well. If someone would, would like to do that. Yes, 69 followers already. We are growing. We are growing. All right. So, who is it going to be today? Um. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe today. No. No raid. Let's do it without the raid today. Oh, Draven, or do you like someone to, to raid? Do you know someone who we can raid? Someone can give... Um... <laughs> the smiley, though. <laughs> it's such a great smiley. Who is Dixanos? Which language is he streaming in? English, Lithuanian. Okay, don't know. Are they you guessing? No, they're just chatting. Why is it showing me this then? She's offline. Who's offline? 
Ooh, it's offline. All right. Do you want to see some um, some YouTuber of you? The SWAT Knight, who's being a massive nerd, but everyone giving some greetings to the SWAT Knight. Let's go. We can raid some English-speaking gear. Some, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. So here's go. The SWAT Knight. Give him some pieces and some some fun to them. And one more time, thank you very much that you've been here with us. And till tomorrow. I don't know exactly when it's going to be the stream, but <laughs> we will see. All right, friends. Bye-bye.